Good morning, fam. <laughs> it's another discussion video. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm TYT. I'm your everyday delivery driver, man. So <clears throat> it's 9.20 this morning and I'm headed out to start my day. But I got a comment earlier um, from one of my uh, loyal subscribers, uh, my guy, uh, D. Brockman. And you know he was he was saying 300 in a day like you know like it's not possible and that's kind of what i want to cover today is it's like it is possible you know you just got you know you have to change your mind frame and your thinking and you know um but you have to be focused and you got to set goals you're not just going to come out and start delivering and then eventually make 300 you have to make up your mind you have to make up your mind that you're gonna hit your goals certain number before you even start okay so guys I'm like i'm an early riser you know but i never really been a, a, a morning person though you know what i mean so like i always wake up early and stuff but it takes it it takes a lot for me to get up and get going you know just like today like i've been woke since like five o'clock this morning but i just laid around lazed around and then eventually got up and started editing my video like if i would have if i would have just got up out of the bed and did that like i would have been done I probably would have uh, left out a little bit sooner. Um, but, you know, so, you know, you, 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 you have to make up your mind and you have to get up early. You know, you have to start your day off right. You know, so when you set that goal, I mean, I'm talking about a huge goal. Now, a lot of the times um, with me, if I don't get out the house, and start delivering before 10 o'clock. I'm not expecting more than 200, 250. Because I already know that if I'm gonna make those big numbers, man, before 10 o'clock, I gotta make at least uh, 30, 40, 50 dollars. You know, cause at the end of the day, when it becomes eight o'clock at night, you know, you're gonna be, go you're gonna be short. Um, You're gonna be short, you go. So the point is, is that you have to start early because if you don't start early, you're just gonna run out of day and you never know how the night is gonna be. Like there's nights where it slows down to like 6.30, 7 o'clock and then don't really pick up too well until like nine o'clock, so. <laughs> but uh, with me, like if, if I'm trying to hit big numbers, or just any day in general. Like I'm trying to hit 200 by six o'clock. That's the mind frame that I have. Like if it's six o'clock and I don't have, and, and, and I don't have $200, either I didn't start early enough or I just couldn't get enough delivery, uh, get enough deliveries out, you know? So you, you, you have to start early guys. You have to just be out here um, and then Besides uh, uh, setting goals and uh, getting up early and getting out here early, you have to, um, <laughs> okay. So along with that guys, man, like you really, 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 really can't be taking a lot of breaks, sitting around, wasting time. Like, yeah, you probably got to take a few undesirable deliveries just to stay busy. But at the end of the day, them small orders add up, you know. Um, and I've learned that throughout the years just from um, from experience. Uh, so, I mean, basically, in order to make a lot of money, you have to do a lot of deliveries. That's it. You know, now, you're not going to make a lot of money doing a whole bunch of uh, 4 and $5 deliveries either. Th th that, that's just not going to add up fast. So, when you see me in my videos getting frustrated, you know, over, you know, just constantly getting those deliveries and still taking them, 
you know, it's just because I know that at the end of the day that those aren't gonna really add up too fast, but they will add up. I mean, but the key is guys, you have to know that that you're gonna have high offers, you're gonna do low offers, and you're gonna do medium offers. So the key is just to do as many as you can. You know, I used to break it down because with Grubhub, I averaged $10 per delivery. Okay, so if I did 10 deliveries, I mean, that averaged out to $100 in most cases. Not every day, but in most cases, it norm they normally average out to $10 in delivery versus DoorDash, like their deliveries normally average out to about five. Yeah, so, so if you want to make a hundred dollars, you have to do twenty deliveries on DoorDash in order to make a hundred dollars. On Grubhub, you probably got to do ten, twelve, fifteen, but you're gonna be driving along further. That's the thing with Grubhub; they have you driving all over everywhere. You know, that's why I like DoorDash with the zones. You know, because it limits how far out you go. I mean, they still send you into another zone, but for the most part, you're going to stay right in that particular zone. There are going to be a lot of small, short deliveries. So that's why um, DoorDash averages half of what Grubhub pays out. It's because of the, the distances that you're driving and stuff like that, too. Um, but then, guys, I mean, you just have to stay focused. You have to stay focused. I mean, that's just what it takes. Focus, dedication, and just knowing at, at the end of the day, everything is gonna average out. So, in other words, and this is kind of what I wanna say on my other video, you gotta, you, you have to have tunnel vision. You can't be looking at per delivery. You just gotta be thinking about doing a lot of them and knowing at the end of the day, you're gonna make a lot of money because you're doing a lot of deliveries. So you gotta have that, you gotta have that tunnel vision, you know? That's the key, guys, that's the key. Um, um, but then also, man, you have to multi -app. You have to multi -app. You have to, in order to make a lot of money, okay? And, and this whole discussion is for full timers, because you're not gonna make a whole lot of money part time. I mean, you can make some money, but you're not gonna make a whole lot, like two, three hundred dollars, is what I'm saying. So, my frame of mind is, if if I'm trying to make two hundred dollars, then I'm gonna at least work ten hours. That's just what it is. If I'm gonna make two hundred dollars, then I'm gonna work ten hours, because like I was saying. I try to average $20 an hour, you know, that's a good base, okay? Um, so you gotta have that tunnel vision and then you kinda just have to know your market and know like what it takes. You know, you just can't go out there and do deliveries. You know, it's kinda, you know, like, uh, it, it's kind of like you, you, you didn't uh, plan to fail. You just failed to plan. So a lot of this is planning too, guys. You And work all the time that you work. So um, you can't be taking breaks and sitting around, you know, declining deliveries. And then, I mean, you have to know that, you know, it's all gonna work out at the end of the day, man. You just gotta do a lot of deliveries. That's the key, really, is just to do a lot of deliveries. I mean, you're gonna have high ones, low ones, and, mi and, and medium ones. But the thing is, is that if you're getting up early and getting out here and, you know, putting in the hours that you need to make what you're gonna make. And the funny thing is, guys, is that that lat like a lot of the times you know um you know in the evenings like the deliveries get better 
and if I hit if I hit 200 by six o'clock, a lot of the times, like if I'm trying to hit, if I'm trying to hit uh, 300, like I can normally get that last 100 in like three four hours. <laughs> it just tends, tends to work out that way. Like it's like the apps be looking for you with the bangers because you've been out there all day. You know what I mean? But that's my little discussion video for the morning, man, or the day, or whatever. Um, man, I hope y'all like the video. Just let me know down in the comments if any of this helps you out. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if it's to be, it's up to me. You have to have tunnel vision. You got to go out there and work as, and work all the time that you work. It was one more thing I was trying to think of. I would I repeated all that, but I can't think of it right now. But I'll let y'all on the next one, man. All right, I remember. <laughs> it's something I say all the time. But guys, anything that's worth having is not gonna come easy. It's not. Anything worth having is not gonna come easy. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna take hard work. It's gonna take dedication. It's gonna take gold goal setting so you just gotta know that man you can't go into anything thinking it's gonna be easy and be worth it at the end of the day i'll let y'all on the next one